sit down. Yeah. 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 Once again, if anyone would like to sit down, there are plenty of open chairs. Uh, but we'll go ahead and get started. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. I'm Brandon Johannes. I'm the president and CEO of the Lovemark Lansing Area Chamber of Commerce. I'd like to welcome you here this morning. Uh, days like this are really great for our community. Progress is the name of the game and the key to success. And uh, this business at Technology Park, I think, will represent some great progress uh, for Leavenworth. So it's a great day. Uh, without further ado, what I'd like to do is just hand it over to Leavenworth Mayor Mark Preisinger. Mark. Thank you. Thank you, Brandon. Uh, good morning. This is on, isn't it? It is. Okay. Uh, this is a great day for Leavenworth, the Leavenworth Lansing area, and Leavenworth County. Uh, today we are dedicating the 82-acre Leavenworth Business and Technology Park. I want to introduce or recognize a few of the elected officials and other uh, key officials uh, that are in attendance today. We have uh, Commissioner Mike Griswold, Commissioner Nancy Bowder from the city. Did I any other commissioners here from the city? Uh, we got Chief Gary Birch, Chief of the Fire Department. Where's, where's Chief Birch? Over here. Uh, we have Director of Parks and Recreation, Steve Grant, over here. We have uh, from Baser, City Commissioner, City Councilman Vernon Fields. We have Mayor David Brewer from uh, Baser. We have Commissioner Louis Clemp from the county, and we have Commissioner Doug Smith from the county. And we have Assistant City Manager Taylor Tedder and City Manager Paul Kramer, all from the city. So, welcome. Uh, did I miss anyone? Did I miss any elected officials? Oh, Jeff Pittman. I saw Jeff Pittman somewhere. There he is. Jeff Pittman rolled in. Our state rep. Thanks for being here. Uh, this project is about 10 years in the making. In 2008, the Port Authority started an, an initiative to find suitable property for the next industrial development in the county. Work on this initiative involved countless hours from the Leavenworth County Port Authority and the Leavenworth County Development Corporation, LCDC, their boards and members, their board members and their professional staff. Their work was key in getting where we are today. Let's give these organizations a round of applause. Leavenworth City Commission approved the contract to build this park in June 2017, just a year ago. Budget was approximately $10 million and was jointly funded by the City of Leavenworth and Leavenworth County. Here's some interesting facts about this park. There's 81.91 acres, has 3,568,000 square feet. It took 500,000 cubic yards of excavation were required to grade this site. 500,000 cubic yards, I know to a lot of people, Sounds like a lot, but uh, where's Greg? Cause a, a normal dump truck that we see going down the road. Does that hold five yards, eight yards? Eight to ten yards. Okay, let's call it ten yards. That would be fifty thousand dump trucks worth of dirt that was moved here to build this thing. There's an eight-foot concrete trail along the entire drive of the park. It's called a trail, not a sidewalk, but that's actually a trail these people over here are standing on. And I forgot to mention uh, Christy Lee, director of uh, CBB, she's uh, Con Convention Visitors Bureau, she's also here. So that uh, eight-foot trail goes all the way through the business park. Uh, this park has three times the natural gas capacity of Gary Carlson Park over there. Natural gas uh, hookups are very important to any industrial development, so this one has plenty for any, any future business may come in. The park is completely shovel ready with detention areas for stormwater, utilities in place, and the flexibility to customize the property lines to individual projects. Extra amenities include street lights, extensive landscaping, and signage. This it, it truly makes this park position to draw significant interest. There's a unique road design to maximize space and encourage smaller uses on the west side, on this side of it, leaving the north and the east sides for projects requiring larger footprints. So you see this side looks bigger than this side, the way they developed the roads, which is great. Uh, I want to give special thanks to the Water Department, Leavenworth Water Department, for their partnership in this project, uh, including the installation of the water line at absolutely no cost. That was huge to us, to all of us. So thank you. We have members of the Water Department here. Yeah, there you go. 
Also, I want to thank JMK and Lexico for their professionalism, workmanship, and partnership in this project. They brought in exactly on schedule. I remember last year they said June 30th, and I on the commission said, don't you guys really want until September 1st because something happens, you know, we have to charge you X amount per day. And Mr. Kai said, I'll have it for you June 30th. And, and obviously here we are, they're exactly on schedule. This is an outstanding project that will have positive impact on the county for decades and generations to come. Something that we'll all be very proud of. And with that, I will now introduce Mike Riley from JMK. Thank you, Mr. Mayor, and, and for everyone for being out here today. You know, when I rolled up, I saw the tents and the white chairs. I kind of resembled a funeral. <laughs> but this is quite honestly the exact opposite. This isn't a funeral. This is actually a birth of something that our community is in desperate need of. I sat on the LCD, LCDC board for a number of years, and quite honestly, LCDC and the Port Authority have been out of business in Leavenworth, Kansas for a long period of time for many different users. We have a few small lots left in the current Gary Carlson Park, but they're not a fit for many larger, newer users that are looking at our area. And so several years ago, as the mayor pointed out, when the Port Authority and LCDC came to us and asked our family about the opportunity of possibly selling this site and developing a new business park, we were thrilled that they had the vision to invest in our community for the future growth. The current Gary Carlson Park has, houses about 800, 850 jobs currently. And when it tips out and is done, it'll, it'll crest a thousand jobs. This park was designed as one platted lot so that the city, as we get users, can maximize the use of the land. And it's anticipated that this site, when completed, will hold over 1,200 jobs for the city of Lebanon and that could go even higher. So we're thrilled that we were able to move forward as a community, uh, that the county and the city uh, invested uh, locally, and we were thrilled to, to be a part of it. Um, I do want to thank, obviously, a number of people that uh, were instrumental in this process. Uh, certainly, Lexico. Uh, Greg Cos, Matt Cos, Lauren Cos, Hank Wee, he was on site every day. They were instrumental in all the grading, uh, sanitary storm, uh, sanitary sewer, storm sewer, water line installation, and basically ran the job on a daily basis. Uh, Brett Napier and Roger Dill with it, uh, Napier Engineering and Atlas Surveyors designed this, again, for maximum density and did a great job. We used over 95% local businesses to perform all of the work out here. And I'm pleased that people like Elite Electric and Baser Turf Design, Eddie Getz is a local resident, Aquapro, uh, certainly we worked with Geiger Ready Mix for all the concrete, Exchange Bank was our financing arm uh, for us to provide uh, the financing for this opportunity. And this was a truly a community-wide effort with every public entity, city, county, water district, uh, Kansas Gas, Spectrum, AT&T, they were all heavily involved in the design uh, engineering and installation of, of their uh, particular services. I also want to thank Young Sign. Uh, Young Sign performed a sign last night. Tom Young and Ann knocked it out of the park. They were here till about 8.30 actually getting that thing wired up. So it came down to the wire mayor, but uh, everything's fully operational. I also want to thank Cos Construction. Uh, Cos performed all the trail. Uh, they knocked it out of the park. And certainly our, our staff, the Riley Development staff, uh, is out here on a daily basis making sure that uh, we were we were getting the job done and, and making sure at, at back at our office that all the finances were met and everything straight. So Colby, Shirley, Whitney, thank you for your help. Um, also want to thank, as the mayor mentioned, certainly the Leavenworth City Commission, Mayor Mark Price Singer, all the commissioners for their vision. City of Leavenworth staff, we worked very closely having uh, week, uh, bi-weekly meetings with uh, Mike McDonald, Mike Cooper, Mike Stevenson. Uh, certainly Taylor Tedder was heavily involved, as was Julie Hurley. Leavenworth County Commissioners, I want to thank you for your support in the project and for your future vision for the growth of Leavenworth County. The Leavenworth County Port Authority, Board of Directors, uh, they are going to be handed the responsibility of, of working with LCDC to help fill this park, and uh, we think they'll do a great job. As the mayor mentioned, uh, 
the Lemworth Water Department was certainly critical in making this happen. So Joel, thank you and your entire board. Um, and so, you know, as a, as a builder and developer, uh, the one thing we know is that when you don't have lots for sale, you're out of business. And quite honestly, the city of Leavenworth was out of business for large business growth, industrial growth. We're no longer out of business. Uh, this park, we, wanted, we had a vision for this uh, that my dad has taught us over the years. To, when you put your name on something, you want it to be proud when you drive past. Not just today, but 20 years from now. And so we had a vision for what we wanted this to look like. And certainly as this park matures, it's going to do nothing but grow. And when we see buildings come vertical in this site, and you're going to have employees walking these sidewalks, it's not only going to add a sense of pride for our community, but it's going to add a tax base that our community is desperately in need of. So I want to thank everybody involved. Uh, from our perspective, this was uh, a lot of pride, uh, a lot of effort. Uh, i got to thank my wife and certainly my family. We, we uh, drove this park nightly. Trust me. Uh, you know, when we, when we got home, uh, we had to come back out to the park to see what the uh, progress was for the day. So they're highly involved. Uh, and I want to thank them for all their uh, support and, and uh, patience during this whole process. So with that, I'll turn it over to the uh, Lemmer County Port Authority President, Blaine Weeks. I'll try and be brief uh, today. What a great day, though. Uh, as the mayor mentioned, 2008, this process started. Uh, it took way too long, but we're here. Uh, thank you for the vision and the support of both the City of Leavenworth and Leavenworth County Board of County Commissioners to have the vision and the funding to bring this to, to reality. Uh, the public-private partnership idea uh, seems like it works. You know, JMK Partners and Lexico, what great partners to have. And as Mike said, our toolbox was empty. Uh, we were uh, uh, no large lots. Uh, we turned a lot of projects away that we didn't want to. But now the toolbox is full. We're ready to market this park. Uh, we're working closely. LCDC, I know, is working on a massive marketing plan, not only for this park, but also for the county itself. So the timing is perfect. We've already had, uh, the, the word is out, uh, this, this park is open. We've already had, I think, at least two site visits by prospective companies. Uh, no, no, none have committed to anything, but the activity has definitely picked up since this park was open. So we are very pleased uh, to be here today and just grateful that we have this new tool set to work with. And again, thank you, everybody. Thank you, gentlemen. Let's give everyone, once again, everyone who worked together, a round of applause. Now we're going to go ahead and move on to the ribbon cutting so that we can get out of this heat. <laughs> what we're going to do is we're going to segue from here over to in front of the sign. We're going to try and fit as many folks into the photo as possible. So if you're interested in participating, please come over and join us. We're going to line up in front of the